Hi all folks, this is Max from my new site um, AndroidKernels.com uh, Basically today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on your computer um, The reason is that uh, you can compile, you can use like stuff like VirtualBox um, but when you compile kernels it's it's like I have a uh, Intel Core i7, it's super fast and I'm running VM and it compiles like 10, 20 times slower than if you had a native Ubuntu installed. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to install it. Um, I suggest you to grab a computer, another computer, or you can use your desktop. Um, but I prefer to use another laptop. Um, anyway, first go to the Ubuntu site, if you type ubuntu.com, and you come to this download site. Um, you can download the 32-bit uh, the or the 64-bit depending on what you want and then uh, there's this thing called uh, you can use uh, burn a CD or make a USB drive out of it um, I'm gonna make a USB stick because I find it easier um, so grab like at least a gig gigabytes of a flash uh, USB drive and plug it in and you can download this link download the universal USB installer and you come to penguin pendrive linux.com so Download bo both things, and I've actually downloaded it, and I've plugged in my USB. Uh, and let me go look at downloads here. And I've got the USB installer and Ubuntu 11.04 for AMD 64, um, 64 bit. It works on any 64 bit. So I'm gonna go run that program, and agree. And uh, let's go. For 11.04, right? Choose it, uh, and then browse to the directory where you downloaded it. So I'm gonna browse to my download directory where it has the file I just downloaded. So I'm gonna go to downloads, and uh, it's not this one. It's this one. The one ending in .iso. Open. All right, and then it says select USB drive letter only, and I'm gonna go double check. Um, Go open my folder and um, it's the one with 0 0.98 gigabytes. So I'm gonna choose drive E. Um, optional format. Um, make sure you don't have anything you don't want to erase. I don't really have anything. I don't want to. No, whatever. And then I'm just gonna. Uh, you don't have to worry about the persistent. That's if you're gonna run off the USB. But I'm gonna actually install it. So just create. Say yes. And it's formatting ES FAT32. Um. So this with this USB stick, I can stick it into any computer, laptop, and install Ubuntu operating system. It can run side by side with your Windows. Um. The thing you have to remember is that uh, you might have to repartition. Um, your hard disks so they don't clash with each other. Uh, I'll show you how to do all that. That's what I'm actually doing. I'm building a new Linux uh, laptop because I want to compile kernels um, here and I also want to show people how to do it at home. I actually use my web servers which has a quad server, uh, quad core and it's super fast but you know I, I want to set up a Linux box at home just so I can just take my computer everywhere with me. Anyway, I'll be back when this is done. Hi all folks, so it is done. Now I'm going to go to my laptop and I'll show you how to use the USB stick and how to boot off it. So let me show you, uh, let me close this and then let me plug it out of my computer. So I've got the latest Linux 11.04, the 64 edition or 32 bit edition if you want to get that. Either works in my USB stick. So let's go to our laptop. Hi all folks, so I'm gonna stick this in to my USB port here and then I'm gonna reboot my Windows here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Restart. And then we're gonna try to get into the BIOS. Um, usually it's, it's a setup that comes out when your computer starts, it's either F10 or F12, I'm not sure, or F8 or F2, but just pay attention to the login screen. You can always reboot really quickly. I think it's F12. Let me see. Sometimes you'll have to just look up your laptop 
name. Um, whoops. So I'm going to do Control Alt Delete. I'm going to try to get into the setup menu. I forget. Maybe is it F2? Uh oh. Okay, I keep getting into the wrong one. Um, let me try it just F12. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm just going to reboot. Um, maybe it's F10. Sorry, I should have known this ahead. But I'm sure um, this is edit boot options. So it must be F8 or F2. Usually it says on when, when uh, to enter the setup, but mine... Okay, that's advanced boot options. Um, you got to get into the BIOS. Hold on. It's F2. There we go, F2. Um, so for Asus computer, it's quite F2. Hi, folks. Once you get into the BIOS, um, if you go to boot, usually um, you can change the boot option. USB would be listed there if you uh, have your USB connected. Uh, but for my particular computer, um, you have to go to like save and exit, and there's actually a boot selection menu. Um, and I can change uh, select the general flash disk 8.07. And then I can press enter and it will boot into uh, Ubuntu setup here. And I'm going to choose install Ubuntu on a hard disk. Alright. And then this will start loading a bunch of stuff. And uh, um, it should get us into um, graphical menu of installing Ubuntu on your laptop or desktop or another computer. So I am going to install it. I'll be back when this loads up. Hi all folks, so I've got some kind of error in it. RamFS, unable to find medium containing live file system that hangs there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot into it uh, and try to, there's also a text menu you can use um, to install. So I'm going to try that method. Power it up. Uh, let's go. And I think there's actually a boot into boot option, but I'm just going to go into the yeah, flash drive because that seems easier. Advanced options, back, no. Um, hmm. Let me just try running Ubuntu from this USB first and report you back. Oh, I think I found the error. I have a 32 uh, USB 3.0 port, um, so I'm going to try it on my regular 2.0 port uh, that might be why and uh, I'm gonna restart it nah, turn up turn it off um so don't use USB 3.0 port um, it might be it might cause uh, it might not be supported yet for for this USB flash install just you know just plug it into the other one but this laptop I have has USB um, 3.0 so I'm going to try to boot off a um, the USB 2.0 and install Ubuntu on this drive. Um, sometimes it could be that your download been corrupted. That's what I've been reading. But I think it's from my USB 3.0. That makes sense. So I'll be back if this gets us into a graphical setup of Ubuntu. Yep. So I'm in. Uh, I got into uh, some kind of menus here. So. I'll just briefly walk you through. Uh, you can choose your language, English, um, forward, and uh, okay. All right, um, just forward. This is fine. All right, forward, and it looks like it's already uh, recognizing my Wi-Fi. Um, like probably like ten years ago when I first, uh, well, not first, but. Well, tinkering with Ubuntu, I, it was like, you know, you had to find all these drivers, but now, it, you know, Ubuntu has grown so much. Um, oh, and now it's going to ask you, this computer currently has Windows 7 on it. What would you like to do? Install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7 if you want to keep it. Um, that's what I'll do. And this will keep all your data on the Windows 7 so you can do boot. Uh, forward, all right. And then a locate drive by dragging the divider below. Um, so, 
I have uh, one big drive here, all right. And I think this is this is my main drive, and I don't need that much space, um, so I'm gonna leave Windows Seven at eighty-seven point five. Um, and this seems fine for me, so I'm just gonna go with it. Also, you can use advanced partitioning tool. Just be careful. Um, but I'm just gonna use this, um, which seems okay. And it's just gonna repartition before you have to install this other program um, to repartition. It says write previous changes and continue. Yes, continue. And this, I have two drives partitions off my 500 gigabyte. I've got the first 100 with the Windows 7 and then the other 400, it's my other, it's just another drive. But I'm just going to do the first one and this will start the installation process. And when you're done, you should be able to boot into Windows or boot into Ubuntu. So this is cool. So I'll be back when this is done. Hello uh, folks, so while it's installing, you can, I think, choose your, yeah. Uh, I'm in San Francisco, so do that and forward, and you can. It's installing um, keyboard layout USA. Just forward. This is fine. Uh, I'm just gonna put uh, your name, Max Ubuntu. No, let's put Max. Uh, computer name. I'm gonna put Max. Max Ubuntu. Max, and then you enter your password, and then uh, require my password to log in. Um, you can also encrypt your home folder if you don't, if you want to. But I'm not gonna do that. Don't feel like it. Um, and uh, which accounts would you like to import? Um, you can also select accounts. I guess uh, documents and settings for these accounts. Um, so you can, you know, it'll load all your files, I think. You can check that if you want. Um, I'm going to check it, see what it does. It should allow you to access your Windows 7 partition from your files on Windows 7 from your Ubuntu, I think. Um, actually, this is like the first time I've installed Ubuntu in a while. Uh, and it's everything's getting better. Before, you had to do all these hacks. Now you just load up this flash and, you know, run the setup program. This might be easy you know easier than Windows so I'll be back when this is done so it says it's done and I'm gonna restart now and I should have a, I should have a fully working uh, Ubuntu now um, it says remove installation media so remove your USB stick now and set it aside for another installation on another computer and you can always use this actually to boot into uh, the live version which runs off the flash disk too I'll be back. Hi all folks, so I've rebooted. Um, there's a bunch of options you can do. First thing I'm going to do is probably connect my wireless. And if your wireless is not working, then uh, you'll have to figure that out. But most of the time you shouldn't have trouble. I would just say for beginners, I would just look for a laptop that works uh, off the bat. Um, so I'm going to connect to it real quick. I'll be back. So I've got it connected to my Wi-Fi and my browser is working. Um, so we're all set. So that's how you install a Ubuntu uh, on your laptop. Um, this is really to show you, I guess, you know, you can use this. I mean, I made this video for those of you who want to compile um, Android kernels because it helps to have Linux um, installed and run it from native Linux. Um, anyway. That's all for now, and uh, that's how you install Ubuntu on Linux. Um, this is was made for my new site, AndroidKernels.com. Don't forget to check it out, and subscribe, folks. See y'all later.